proofs big time this section. I know you're fired up. Uh, it's not too bad. Actually, this is shortcut for proof, so this should be pretty awesome for us. Uh, let's take a look at this. So we're looking at triangle congruence. So the whole thing is we're saying, okay, is this triangle congruent to this triangle? This is our goal for the, really the chapter, our focus. Yeah, yeah, if you look at 4.1, this is what happened here. So we're like, oh, yeah, this side matches that side, blah, 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 side, side, angle, angle. We had to show everything. We had to show that each side matched a side. Uh, so if it matched one and the other one, it matched one and the other. So we showed this side is that side. Then we had to show every angle is an angle. Well, this was a bummer, man. These were long proofs that were a lot of work, and I know a lot of people were groaning and moaning about it. It was just a lot going on. So we're going to look for some shortcuts. Instead of showing that every angle matches and every side matches, can we do a shortcut for this? And uh, yes, we can. So that's what this is. So let's get fired up. Do some of these. We will survive proofs. Here we go. Let's start off with side, side, side. So one way to show triangles are uh, congruent instead of listing them all, is to say, okay, what if I have this triangle here? And this is going to be very rough. And I'm curious, is it congruent to this triangle here? Well, if you can show that this side equals this side, this side is the same as this side, this side is the same as this side, then you're good to go. You don't have to mess with any angles. This is enough to show that two triangles have to be congruent. And we say this by saying side, side, side. So side, side, side. So you don't need, to, if you can show all three sides, you don't show the angles. Why is that true? Well, if you come down here and say, okay, I'm going to build a triangle out of these three sides. So there's set links here. And I kind of pull this out and say, okay, I'm going to build a triangle here. So when I do it, I'm going to kind of put it together so the ends meet. And I'm going to make this triangle like this. Well, if somebody else comes along and has this exact same side, 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 what does their triangle have to look like? Well, it has to look exactly the same. Even if they start with like this little piece, you know, a smaller piece here. And let's say we start with both smaller pieces. When they go to make the angles to fit it together, it's going to end up being the same triangle. If you want to make a triangle out of it, it has to be the same because all your sides are the same. So when I put it together, no matter what, ooh, that's a little bit off, something like this. Boom, this triangle will be, I'm a little bit off here, having some issues. Let's try this. Oh man, too much, too much. All right, something like that. So these two triangles have to be congruent. They have the same side uh, all the way around, so the angles have to be the same. So that shows that no matter what, no matter how you put these three together, you will get a congruent triangle. So definitely side, side, side works for us. That is one shortcut. How about another shortcut? So they're congruent. What about side, angle, side? Well, what does this mean? This means if I have some triangle like this and I want to know if it's congruent to this one, instead of proving every single one, I can say, okay, if this side matches this side, this angle, if it matches this angle, and this side matches this side, then I can say they are congruent. By what? By side, angle, side. They have to be. So if the two sides and the angle in between them, and again, it's got to be that angle in between them, if you can show that, then you don't have to show everything. It's like our little shortcut. Why does that one work? Well, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at a fixed angle here. I have this fixed angle. No matter even if I rotate this or uh, whatever, it's staying the same angle. So I've got this angle, and then I'm going to use two fixed sides. So if I use this fixed side as one of them, there it is, and then I pull another fixed side out like this, and it's just slightly that way. So what's left here? I've got a side, angle, side that are all fixed. What's the only way to complete this triangle? Well, to go from here to here, is it's got to be the same thing. So if you've got side, angle, side, it has to be a congruent triangle. So we can say, boom, they are congruent. Awesome, really cool. So two shortcuts right there that will hook us up. What about this, though? What about angle, angle, angle? I want more shortcuts. You know, that's great. These are awesome. What about angle, angle, angle? Does AAA work? Well, let's check it out. Here's an angle, angle, angle. I'm going to pull it off. Ah, now these look congruent. It's the same shape. They're congruent. They have the same angles. Does that always work, though? Is this one congruent? It looks like it's pretty good, except check this out. Did I change any of those angles? In fact, I could overlap it. <laughs> check that out. This angle is this angle. This angle is that angle. That angle is that angle. Are they congruent triangles? No way. They're actually similar. So this one doesn't work. They may be congruent. If you have all three angles the same, could be congruent, but it's not guaranteed 100% got to be congruent. So this is a no. This one does not work. Don't try to use it. Uh, it actually only does similarity. Awesome. Very cool. Let's do some examples of this. 
So if I have two triangles and I want to show they're congruent, so is this enough information here to say yes, they're congruent? I've got a side matches a side, another one, another one. Yes, this is side, side, side. Definitely my three sides match up. These two triangles must be congruent, so I'm good to go. How about this one? I only see two sides. Does that mean no? Ah, uh, not really. Check it out. We have vertical angles here. Remember, vertical angles are always congruent. So really, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So it's got to be that angle between them. This definitely works. They are congruent. How about this one here? I see a side and angle. Ooh, check out this side. It's in both of them. So it's definitely congruent to itself. So we actually have side, angle, side here. So yes, those two triangles are congruent. Pretty cool. How about over here? It looks like they are congruent, but what do I have? I have angle, angle, angle. Doesn't work. This is a no. We cannot do this when they're not congruent. How about this next one? Looks like they share this side here, so I'll mark it. Is this side, angle, side, though? On the top triangle, yes, side to angle to side, but is it down here? No, it's actually side, side, angle, or angle, side, side. It's no. It's not the same in both of them. It's got to be the one. You've got to kind of go like in a circle. Uh, and you can't skip anything. So this on the bottom is actually angle, side, side, doesn't work. How about over here? I know that's in both of them. Is that enough information? No, that's just angle, side, or side, angle. Definitely not. You need three pieces of information, so those are no on the bottom. All right, so how's this going to look in a proof? So when I go to prove this, what is this going to look like? Well, this is where it gets tricky. So this is definitely on your master check. you got to do one of these all by yourself. Like I'm going to give you a blank statements and reason you're going to fill them in, but you can do it. We always start with the given. That's number one. So we just rewrite the given. So I, I did that one for you. And I highly, highly recommend marking the picture. So I'm going to tell you stuff for a reason. Why is H? H is the midpoint of GT. Why would I tell you that? Well, if this is the midpoint of GT, this has to be congruent to this. So mark that on your picture. Also, I'm going to give you this HR HR is congruent to IH, so that's this. So that's great. That's all I'm going to give you in the given. Is there anything else I can just look at the picture and see? Sure, I've got those vertical angles again. So now when I have it marked, it's kind of say, okay, why are these two triangles congruent? Side, angle, side. So it's just like what we're going to do with what we're doing on the, with the pictures, but now I'm going to prove step by step that these two triangles are congruent. Excellent. So let's do it. So when I look at this number one, always the given. I'm going to list the given. And my whole goal is I have to show that what? I have to show that two sides are congruent, the two angles are congruent, and the two sides are congruent to show the two triangles are congruent. So is any of that done for me in the given? Yes, right off the bat, check this out. It's already proving that these sides are congruent. So step two, I'm going to go ahead and do the angle. What angle is congruent? Well, I'm looking at what? Angle GHI is congruent to what? So from G to H to I is congruent to angle, you can't just say H because there's two, it's, you don't know which one, it's THR. So you got to be specific, THR. So that's the angle. Why are those two angles congruent? Well, when we marked it, we said it, these are vertical angles. And the rule is vertical angles are congruent. And again, if you want to abbreviate, <coughs> excuse me, feel free to use a congruent sign for congruent. You can use the angle sign for angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So I've got my side. I've got my angle. I need one more side. What's the other side? Well, I marked it up there. It is what? It is GH is congruent to what? GH is congruent to HT. And how did I know that? What told me they're congruent? Aha, it's this definition of midpoint. The reason is because it's the midpoint cuts it in half, so it's definition of midpoint. So it's kind of all coming together, all this proof stuff we've been doing. Hopefully you got it. How do we end this thing? You always end with your proof. you got to end with what you're trying to say. It's the problem I'm trying to solve. So triangle GHI is congruent to triangle THR. And what is the reason for that? Uh, we said it already, side, angle, side. So we can use that. That's a postulate. It works. It shows they're congruent. So that's the whole proof right there. I love it. When I get done with proofs, I really like to give a shout out to the Kool-Aid man. Hey, Kool-Aid! Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid's here, bringing you fun. Kool-Aid's got their stomach run. Get a big, wide, happy ear to hear Kool-Aid's fun. Tastes great. Our friend's cool. Our friend's Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid brown soft drink mix. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That fires me up. The Kool-Aid man. Awesome. All right, let's do another proof. Get this thing going here. This one's a little bit longer, but let's check it out. Uh, same thing. Let's go ahead and mark the picture here. I've got triangle ACB is isosceles with base AB. So that's the base. If that's the base, that means these sides are congruent. 
Uh, then I know CP is the angle bisector. So CP is the angle bisector. So what's it going to do? It's going to cut it in half. It bisects it, so they're congruent. Anything else I know? So that's my given shows me that I mark that. And I know, okay, the blue line's in both of them, so it's going to be in both triangles. I can go ahead and mark it. Fantastic. So why are these two congruent? Well, I know they're congruent by side angle side. Now I'm just going to justify this. As all these proofs are, is like, okay, give me the reasons why you know it has to be congruent. So let's just list them. It's not bad. Just list them until you're done here. Number one, always start with the given. Give, give everything you know. State that right here. Awesome. So I'm trying to prove in my uh, proof here, sides, angle, sides match up. Did the given state any of that for me? Oh, it didn't. It didn't. So I'm going to make a little note. I'm going to prove the side, then the angle, then the side. Order doesn't really matter. As long as you get this covered, I don't care what order you go in. This is just kind of notes to help me uh, make sure I cover my bases here. So the first side I'm going to pick is what? The first one I marked, we said AC was congruent to BC. AC, BC. <laughs> so you've got this is congruent to this. Why is that? How do I know that? Well, how, why did I mark it? The reason you were able to mark that was what? Right here. It's an isosceles triangle. So it's definition of isosceles, which is a weird word to spell. That SC combo, weird. isosceles triangle. And I'm just going to draw a picture to abbreviate. Definition of isosceles triangle, they're congruent. What's the angle I know? Well, I know angle 1 is congruent to what? Angle 2. And what told me that? Well, I marked it because of this angle bisector. So again, that's a definition. That's why chapter 1 was so important with those definitions. Uh, definition of angle bisector and what about number four so I'm looking for my last side here this is side in the middle so I'm looking at CP is congruent to CP and what tells me that it's a property it's the reflexive property it says oh yeah you are congruent to yourself excellent then I'm gonna end with the way I start you gotta end with this proof so I gotta say, tri that's a worse looking triangle. How about this? Triangle ACP is congruent to triangle BCP. That was my whole goal is to show the two triangles congruent. How do I know that? Side, angle, side. So at least no matter what, what get the first step and the last step right. I get you some partial credit, but then all you're doing is saying what is your shortcut in the middle and showing each one of those is true. Fantastic, good work. Let's uh, let's hit another Kool Kool Aid man up. Chasing bank robbers makes me hot and thirsty. Let's get a drink. No time. They're here. Hey, hey, you. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Love the Kool-Aid man. Fires me up. When I think of proofs, I think of him busting down walls. Gets you fired up if you get a proof right. Uh, excellent. Here we go. One other little cool little uh, property of isosceles triangles that's important for us while we're talking isosceles. If I give you this isosceles triangle, uh, if a line bisects the vertex angle, remember this is the vertex angle up here. The one up here, and then these are the base down here. A and B, the base angle. So if you've got a line that uh, bisects the vertex angle, and I know this is isosceles because it's telling me here AC is congruent to CB, uh, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2, kind of like the proof we just did, because it bisects it. What has to be true? Well, when all that happens, what happens over here is it turns out that this is congruent to this, and it's a right angle. Really cool. So what happens? AP is congruent to PB. And what do we say? CP is perpendicular to AB. So that's a lot going on. So if a line bisects the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle, then the line is what? We call this the perpendicular, perpendicular bisector of the base. My handwriting is rough. All right, there we go. So, cut, so that's what it does. If isosceles, if you, if these two angles are congruent, these two sides are congruent. 
also, what else do I know? I know these two angles are congruent, but mainly this new uh, property is that if this cuts that in half, boom, it cuts that in half and makes it a 90 degree angle. Fantastic. Uh, enjoy the practice. Good luck on the master check. I hope uh, when you're done, give it a little, oh, especially if you're in Mr. Kelly's room or Mr. Sullivan's room, when you nail the proof on the master check, give it a little Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah, they would love that. All right, peace out. I'm sentencing you to 24 months in prison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.